Welcome back to the first weekly environmental news report of 2018. First up, Jadav Payang, also known as the Forest Man of India, has single-handedly transformed the landscape of his community in Northeast India by planting all different kinds of trees. Now 58 years old, Payang is a farmer, but his life's mission is to bring back the ecosystem of an island in the state of Assam, India. He is part of the Mishing tribe and says that he is just following his tradition of honoring nature. After seeing snakes dying from the heat and lack of shade or tree cover back in 1979, Paiyang has been planting hundreds of thousands of trees across the island. Now the biome is thriving with other plants, grasses, tigers, elephants, and a wide variety of other species. For his efforts, Paiyang was awarded one of India's highest civilian awards, the Padma Shri, and is celebrated as a conservationist. The Trump administration has released a plan that would allow oil and gas drilling to take place in almost all U.S. offshore territory, including previously protected areas of the Atlantic, Arctic, and Pacific Oceans. U.S. Secretary of the Interior Ryan Zink announced that a new oil and gas leasing program would open almost 90% of the coast to fossil fuel companies, saying, quote, We want to grow our nation's offshore energy industry instead of slowly surrendering it to foreign shores. Although zinc has stated that drilling would be environmentally sustainable and undergo evaluation, many environmental groups and even Republican politicians denounce the action. The draft plan reverses protections implemented during the Obama administration. The new year began with China's government officially shutting down its legal ivory trade following the landmark 2015 announcement from Chinese President Xi Jinping and then U.S. President Barack Obama. China's ivory trade played a significant role in African elephant poaching, and China is believed to be the world's top consumer of ivory. Now, sources say that prices of ivory products in China have already decreased considerably, and the market is already shrinking. However, ivory is still seen as a symbol of prestige and status, and trade may move to other countries in the region where it is not banned. According to Jeanette Hemley, a senior vice president of World Wildlife Fund, it is critical that efforts to enact the ivory trade ban are accompanied by efforts to change consumer behavior in order to reduce demand. Warming oceans and ocean acidification have been well-known phenomenons, but a new study found that ocean waters are also losing oxygen due to climate change. The discovery that certain fish were avoiding a deep, expanding region of water because it contained too little oxygen revealed this new reality and how it is altering the lifestyle of marine organisms. It is emptying vast regions of the ocean and causing fish to aggregate near the surface, therefore increasing the risk of overfishing. Denise Breitberg, senior scientist at the Smithsonian Research Center, is the lead author of the study published in Science that examined all the major research on ocean oxygen loss, a byproduct of climate change. Warm water carries less oxygen and also increases metabolism, and these low oxygen zones have grown by more than 4.5 million square kilometers since the mid-20th century. Japanese researchers say they have developed a new type of glass that can self-repair, potentially paving the way for a sustainable phone screen material. Researchers led by Professor Takuzo Aida from the University of Tokyo found that glass made from a low-weight polymer called polyether thiourease can heal breaks when pressed together by hand without requiring heat, making it the first material of its kind to repair at room temperature. This healable glass could possibly be used in smartphone screens that often smash easily, and is also highly robust mechanically. The graduate student who accidentally discovered it, Yu Yanagisawa, said, I hope the repairable glass becomes a new environmentally friendly material that avoids the need to be thrown away if broken. That's all for this week's environmental news report. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and help promote environmental awareness. See you next week.